Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do this super easy zigzag. Now it's got this little sort of eyelet lines running up and down it. It's really pretty. You can use any yarn for it and you can do it in any colour you want. Now I use this. This I've got some of it left. <laughs> I use this Super Saver Jumbo Stripe Yarn and this is a salmon pink one. It's called Sea Coral. This one is called Sea Coral and it's really pretty. It's a weight 4 yarn. That's like an Aran in the UK. But you can use any yarn. Just use the hook size that tells you on the label of the yarn that you want to do it. Now I'm going to show you how to do this. It's really quick. It's a quick, quick crochet stitch and it's easy as well so we're going to do a chain a foundation chain in sets of 12 and then you'll add an extra three stitches at the end so do it as long as you want it to be in sets of 12 stitches so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve and then another twelve do as many sets of twelve as you want so i've done my sets of twelve and i'm going to add an extra three stitches one two and three this makes up your first treble crochet. Now the stitch we're going to be using is UK treble crochets. Now if you're in the USA or another country, these are double crochets for you. It's the same stitch, it's just we call it something different. It's just got a different name over here but it's the same stitch. So into the fourth stitch in your chain count one, two, three and four you're going to do a UK treble crochet. And if you're in the USA, these are double crochets for you. So that, those three stitches count as your first stitch. So that's one and two. So we need six along. So that's one, two, one into the next stitch. That's three, one into the next stitch. That's four. One into the next one. That's five. And one more into the next stitch makes six. So your chain here counts as your first treble crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So on the end, you'll have six. And on this end, you'll have six stitches. But in between, you'll only have sets of five. It keeps your blanket nice and straight. So you're going to skip two stitches. Skip one, two, and then we'll do five treble crochets along. So skip one, two. And we're going to do five along. So that's one. two, three, four and five. So it's when you skip those two stitches that makes the V shape when you've skipped those two stitches down there. So what you're going to do now is we're going to chain two. One, two, now those two chains replaces these two we skipped and it's going to make your work go that way now. So we'll chain two into the next stitch. Don't skip any. Go into the next stitch and do five treble crochets. So into the next stitch. That's one. One into the next one. That's two. One into the next one is three, then four, 
The next one is five. And that makes it go up and down. So skipping the stitches makes your peak go down and adding, doing a chain, makes it go up. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to skip two stitches again. Skip one, two, and we'll do five treble crochets along. So skip one, two, and into the next stitch. That's one. One into the next stitch. That's two. One into the next one. It's three. Then four and five. So you're going to chain two. One, two. We're making a peak. And into the next stitch. Don't skip any. Into the next stitch. We're going to work five along. So right into the next stitch. That's one. Two, three, four, and five. Then it's skip two, one, two, and then do another five. One, two, three. Four and five. Then chain two, one, two, and in, straight into the next stitch, do another five. One, two, three. four and five. So we're going to skip two, skip one, two and we'll do, well I should have six stitches left, you're going to do your last six as your treble crochet. So skip two and work to the end, that's one, two, three, four, five, and one more on the end is six. At the end you'll have six. At the beginning you'll have six, and at the end you'll have six. And this is what you have. You have your ups and downs. So what you're going to do now is you're going to chain three. One, two, three, and turn your work around. Now right into that very first stitch we're going to do another treble crochet. So that one counts as one, we're going to put one in there right into that very first stitch and that's has got two. One into the next one, that's three. One into the next one is four. Remember at the beginning and the end you'll have six. Four, that's five and one makes six. Now you're going to skip two stitches, skip one, two and then we'll do five treble crochets up here. Now you won't have five stitches, you'll have to do one into this chain space. So skip two and do one, two, One into the next one is three. One into the next one is four. And you'll do your fifth one in the chain space. That's five. Chain two, one, two. Put one more in the chain space. This is stitch one. And we're going to work five down. So that's stitch one. One into the next chain space or into the next stitch, sorry, that's two, three, four, some more yarn, and five. 
Now you're going to skip two, one, two, and you'll do, use these four stitches and then put one into the chain space for number five. So it's skip two and in we go. That's one, two, three, four, and then put one in the chain space to make five. You're going to chain two, one, two, because we're at our peak. Now what happens is, when you skip stitches down here, you replace them with the two chain up here. So you'll always, when you get here, you'll always work in the chain space for your fifth stitch. And that's what keeps your stitch count correct. Just remember when you count four up, your fifth one will go in the chain space. So I've done my two chain to make my new chain space and I'm going to go back into that chain space again. So that's stitch one and I'm going to work five down. One, that's two, three, four and five. Skip two, one, two and go up five. One, two, one along the next one. That's three, one into the next one. That's four, and one into the chain space to make five. Now, chain two, every time you get to a chain space, you'll be making a new chain space. So chain two, and go back into the chain space, and that's stitch one. Now, into the next stitch, that's two. One into the next one makes three. One into the next one makes four. And one into the next one makes five. Going to skip two stitches. One, two. And we're going to work along here. Now you'll only have five stitches. But on the end, we'll put two stitches in to make our six. So that's one. That's two. One into the next one is three. One into the next one's four. Now, in to your chain, you're going to put two treble crochets into the top of the chain. Not the space. Go into the stitch. Count one, two, and three. You're going to put two treble crochets. So that's one and one more. And that keeps your six stitches at the end. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. So at each end you'll have six. And as you take away and add stitches, so as you skip stitches and add chains, it keeps your stitch count. So just remember at this end and this end you'll have six stitches. And in between you've got fives. And that's what you'll keep repeating. So chain three, one, two, three, and turn. Right into the very first stitch, you're going to add a treble crochet. And if you're in the USA, these are double crochets for you. So that gives us one and two. We're going to do five. So one, two, one into the next stitch is three. One into the next one is four and then five. No, we're going to have six, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, and one more makes six. On the ends we'll have six. That one's caught. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six because we're on the end. 
we're going to skip two and do five up the side. In the middle, we're only going to have sets of five. So skip one, two. And in there, that's one, two, three, and four. And one into the chain space makes you five. Then again, you're going to chain two, one, two, to make your new chain space and go straight back into that chain space and do your first treble crochet. So that's one. And we'll work down till we have five. One, two, three, four, and five. You're going to skip two stitches, one, two, and then do five up the way. One, two, skip those, and then do one, two, three, get some more yarn, and one in there's four, and one into the chain space is your number five, in the chain space. Oops. And that's five. Chain two, one, two, and back into the chain space. And that's stitch one, and work five down. One, two, three, and four. And you're going to put two into your chain. Remember that chain on the end. One, two, three. Into the third stitch in that chain, you're going to put two treble crochets into that chain there. Put one and two. And that makes you have six. So on the end, you've got one, two, three, four, five and six. And that is how easy this is. If you remember you have six on the end, you always put two on this corner and two in that corner. That keeps your stitch count correct for when you skip two stitches here and you'll add your chains here. So chain three, one, two, three. Turn your work. It's a one row repeat this. You just keep repeating that one row right into that very first stitch. Don't miss it. Make sure you go in there. This is your increase on this corner. So that makes one and two. That one's three, four and five. One more for six. On the end you always have six. So I've got my six back on the end. So we're here, I've added the extra stitch. That lets me skip the stitch that's here. So you're going to skip two. So we skipped that one, but we added one here, remember. And when you work, you skip that one, you add one in the chain space. So that's what keeps your stitch count. Adding these stitches in. So skip two, one, two, skip one, two, and then do your five up. One, two, three, one in there's four. And you're going to add one into the chain space makes five now where you've put it in the chain space replaces the what the stitch down here that you skipped so that's what keeps your stitch count correct and that's what you'll do over and over again so chain two when you're at this part you chain two go straight in to the chain space again so you're adding that stitch in. So that's one. And work down. 
two, three, four, and five. You can skip two and do your five up. One, two, three, four, and add your fifth one into the chain space. Chain two, into the chain space, you're adding your stitch in there, that's one, and work your way down. And five. Skip two and work five up. One, two, three, four. One into the chain space makes five. Chain two into the chain space. That's one and work four more down so one two we're doing five down that's one two three four and five skip two one two now remember on the end you'll need six so you'll be adding an extra stitch in at the end that's one two three four and you're going to put two into that chain of three two treble crochets and if you're in the USA that's a double crochet put two in put another one in there and that keeps your stitch count correct and that's what you're going to keep doing and it's so easy and it's so quick look how much I've got done already it is really quick to do this and you'll just repeat that one row over and over again until it gets as big as you want it to be. So simple. You can use any yarn and use the crochet hook. It tells you on your yarn label. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. And if you click on the bell icon, YouTube will send you a free notification when I put up another tutorial. And it is completely free to subscribe to the channel. So until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.